parents, it's Miss Benson. Today's lesson was quite difficult, so I thought I would just show you a little example of what, or of how I taught it today. Today's lesson was 5.2, and I'm going to use the example 63 minus 18. I taught the kids that there are two steps um, to solving a problem like this. Step one is to break apart your number. Okay, so you look at 18 and you break it into tens and ones. You have 10 and 8. The next thing you want to do is look at how many ones you have in your starting number. That will at least be one of your numbers to break apart 8. You know that you need to break 8 into 3 and what? And I usually draw a, bo a box and let the kids fill it in so that they can see that 3 plus 5 equals 8. So our three numbers are 10, 3, and 5. That is step 1. Now we are ready for step 2, which is to solve your problem. Okay, so I have them go in order from 10 to 3 to 5. So we do 63 minus 10. And they could either use their number line to do this, or they can think in their head what is 10 less than 63. And I told them that it's just one less than the 10 they already have. So 63 minus 10 is 53. Now we are ready for our next problem. We've used 10, now we need to use 3. So now I have 53 minus 3. And the reason we chose 3 is to get us to our benchmark number, which is 50. And we are now ready for our last number. 50, take away 5. And then with this, they could use the number line, or they can plant 50 in their head and count back 5. Um, that could look like I, I actually use my hand and plant 50 in my head and count back. I'm using my fingers, 49, 48, 47, 46, 45, whatever strategy works for them to get them to the answer. So now we know that 63 minus 18 is 45. This is just a strategy for teaching subtraction. We will eventually get to other strategies. Um, so don't worry if your child is not getting this yet. It takes a lot of practice and it was difficult in class, but I'm confident that after some practice they'll be okay. I hope you guys have a great night. Thank you.